There was once, oh, there was once a rabbi who had no sons. Eventually, he had only, he had an only son whom he raised and married off. The son would sit in the upper floor and study, as was the custom of well-to-do people. He did nothing but study and pray, yet he still felt that something was missing within him, but he did not know what. He experienced no satisfaction from his studies and prayers. He revealed this to another, to other young men who advised him to travel to a certain tzaddik, na nach, nach mo. Na, now this son had once done a certain good deed for which he had become an aspect of this Mahalur life. So this only son went to tell his father that since he has no satisfaction from his service and he feels that something is missing but he knows not what he therefore wants to travel to this Saudi the father responded how can you travel to him you are a greater scholar than he and come from a more illustrious family. It is inappropriate for you to travel to him. I forget about this. Forget about this. Nanach, nachmo, nachmo, nachmon, mayumon, nanach, nachmo, nachmo, nachmon, mayumon. Oh, the father thus prevented him from traveling. So the son returned to his studies. So um, the feeling of something missing returned. So he again discussed it with discussed it with those young men who again advised him to travel to the Sadiq. So he again went to his father, and the father once again dissuaded him. This happened several times. Meanwhile, yo, the son continued to feel something was missing, and he yearned greatly. To fill this emptiness, though he knew not what it was, so he went to his father and begged him until his father was forced to travel with him. He did not want to let him travel alone since he was an only son. So the father told him, look, look, I will go with you and I will show you that, that, that there is nothing to him. So they harnessed the carriage and set out. The father said, I will put this to a test if everything works out. It is heaven's wish that we go, and if not, it is not heaven's wish, and we will, and we will return. As they were traveling, they reached a, shma, a small hall bridge. One of the horses fell, four, horses fell, and the carriage overturned, and they were almost round. So the father said, you see, things are not working out, and this journey is not heaven's wish. So they returned, and the son returned to his studies, but again faced this feeling of something missing, that he knew not what it was. So he again pressed his father as above, and the father was forced to travel with him again. As they were traveling, the father again stipulated as above, 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 that everything should work out for them. As they were traveling, two axles broke. The father said to him, you see, things are not working out for us on this journey. Is it normal for two axles to break? How many times have we traveled with this carriage and such a thing never happened? So they turned back, and the son returned to his studies as usual. Soon though, he again felt this feeling of something missing. <clears throat> and those young men, and those young men advised him to make the journey. So he again approached his father and begged him, until the father was forced to travel with him again. This time, the son requested of the father not to put the journey to a test. A horse can sometimes fall, 
axles can break unless something really out of the ordinary happens. So they traveled and reached an inn to spend the night. There was a merchant there and they began to talk with him as if they were merchants. Not revealing to him where they were traveling, the rabbi was embarrassed. To say that he was traveling to the Sadiq. So, so they spoke about mundane affairs. Eventually the discussion came around to the topic of Tzaddikim. Righteous people and where they live. He told them that in such a place is a certain Sadiq, another elsewhere, etc. Then they mentioned the Tzaddik to whom they were traveling. And the merchant said to him, Him? He's a nothing. I'm just coming from him now. I was there when he committed a sin. The father then said to the son, You see, my son, what this merchant has said innocently. He is coming from them. So they returned home. The son died and appeared to his father in a dream. The father saw that the son was enraged. So he asked him, Why are you so angry? The son told him to travel to that tzaddik, who will tell him why he is so angry. The father awoke and said to himself that it was only a coincidence. The dream came again, and again the father said that it was only a meaningless dream. But when it came a third time, he realized that there is something to, to it, so he set out to go then. Oh yeah, on his way, he met the merchant that he had already met when he had traveled earlier, that he had already met when he had traveled earlier with his son. Father recognized him and said to him, aren't you the one I met at, the, at that inn? Oh, he said, certainly you saw me. And he opened up his mouth and said, if you wish, I can swallow you. What are you talking about? Asked the father. Don't you remember, he said? That when you traveled with your son, the first whore, that the that first the horse fell on the bridge, and he returned, then the axles broke. And then you met me, and I told you that this sadiq is a nothing. So now that I have caused him to die, this, your son, you may go. Your son was an aspect of the smaller light, and the sadiq is an aspect of the greater light. And had they met, the Messiah would have come. But since I have caused him to die, you may now go. And in the midst of speaking, he disappeared. And there was no one there for father to talk to. The rabbi traveled to the tzaddik and he cried. And cried, Oh, you whoa, 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 for the irreplaceable loss. Whoa, whoa. Well, for the irre irreplaceable loss, may God restore our, our exile soon. May God restore our exile soon. Amen. This merchant was himself the devil. He appeared as a merchant in order to trick them. When he met the rabbi the second time, he teased him for having listened to him. For that is his way as known. May God save us. May God save us. Yayid ha yo kuse le radas alahu tamidi ha yo ka ha yo ka ha yo ka mayda ye kuse le radas alahu tamidi ha yo ka
Also, he turned the waters into blood and slew the fish that land swarmed with frogs in the chambers and the chambers of the kings. He spoke and they gave swarms of flies and gnats in all their borders. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in the land. He smote the vines also in the fig trees above the trees of the borders. He spoke and the locusts came and the canker worm without number. And the canker worm without number na 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 mo na mo me yu mo na